Do you wash your face in the shower or in your basin? managed to gather myself uh, yeah i recorded you saw me lying on that bed for half an hour i just couldn't physically move it happens anyway i feel okay now so okay. here uh, so this is a picture that vishnu drew of this was the first night we met it's we took a video and he took draw, drew a picture of it and framed it yeah we're shooting a video today in in the room uh, not outside i will let the setup be recorded and uh, this is the sari i'm gonna wear for the video it's really beautiful and it's blue and it's festive this is the blouse we love a barely there blouse i'm also gonna uh, look for other options while they set it up here we have saris yesterday bohat kiosk me thi main so i did not even record what i was shooting so basically i recreated the pikas look from ram leela it's it's a very impressionable look so i'm trying to do looks this season that really left an impression on me i know that song came out and i watched it on repeat for weeks if not months and i still sometimes out of nowhere in the middle of the night sometimes go on it and watch it it's a very impressionable song i think her performance in that song and how she looks and how she dances everything really um uh, affected me in a creative way so i'm so happy i got to recreate that so today i'm recreating alia bhat's look as rani chatterjee in rocky or rani uh, since the first time i saw a little teaser of that movie you know something about that look i've really loved so i'm recreating that for a video um, and i found a nose pin just picking out accessories bangles the nose pin <laughs> the first studio maine ek ulti saadi pehen li thi i haven't worn a saadi in so long i'm trying to book my tickets to go home but koi flight hi nahi mil rahi hai mujhe oh you wonder what this is still shooting lunch has been had setup has been changed per shoot i'm shooting the next video now this is a cute setup with the mirror and the plant and this side bit Everybody was really worried about my fiddle leaf fig. Tell me how can I take care of it? It's doing good right now. I mean, it's pretty new. The other one is drying though. I don't understand. It is an outdoor plant. But why is it drying? I don't want to kill it. I mean, that is not a good sign. Almost done. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool. A wrap. I just want to take a moment for future Diksha here. You are more capable than you think you are. Okay. I feel like that episode of Ross where Ross sends himself a voice note. <laughs> Don't read it. Okay. I want to go oh, right oh, there. Oh, 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 oh. Mm, 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 Hi, somebody was asking me why don't I take Hopi out on walks, and uh, she has a very sweet, nice bhaiya who takes her on a walk. That's because a Hopi is very bad on leash. Hopi, I'm just very bad at it because there is nothing nice to say about you. Yeah, she's not leash trained, and uh, when I take her out alone, I'm very petrified that she'll just run away. Um, Bhaiya, who has been taking her for walks, has been taking her for three years now, and he genuinely cares about her so much. Even if her pee or poop is slightly not okay, he'd be like, "You can't carry it. Tell me, tell me. Did you go fight with people? Did you go fight?" I'm very paranoid. Like if Vishnu will be like, 
if if I take her on a walk someday and I'll take someone with me if Vishnu's with me and he'll ask to take her and I'll be like no like no she's a normal dog but she's also crazy thoda sa so like I know how to tackle her I know if she uh, takes off her leash and tries to run I just can pick her up like I know all these things and I can't trust anyone with it it's so difficult for me to trust I think I only trust my brother oh Hopi Hopi because he has seen her from day one and he knows how to tackle her. <laughs> I just got asked on my Instagram about my skincare routine and I thought I'd give a very simple rundown of my skincare routine and what I do, why I do it. I always double cleanse. If we don't makeup, if we don't sunscreen, lagare, we still need to double cleanse. I don't know if you know this because I didn't know this. My favorite is the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm or the Face Shop Rice Water Cleansing Oil. Oh, I love the feeling of this one. Face wash. I like to use a salicylic acid face wash. I have oily, acne prone, partly dry combination, sensitive skin. <laughs> I think this one is not too harsh, not too gentle. I generally use paper towel to clean my face. Laneige Cream Skin Refiner. The best option is the Tony Moly Toner. But on some days I'm looking to exfoliate and I love the Paula's Choice 2% Exfoliant. Today I'm gonna go with the Road because I'm using Tretinoin today. While using Tretinoin, one thing to remember, don't mix it with active ingredients like vitamin C, salicylic acid, etc, etc. And then I would usually just go in with a moisturizer. I've been using the Bioma moisturizing gel cream but it's over. Again, this is not available in India but it's a very light, fragrance-free gel moisturizer. And the oil-free moisturizing lotion from, from, from Cosrx does the same job. I'm going to use a serum because I'm using Tretinoin. Eye cream is something, if you're just starting out, you can totally skip it. Tretinoin. I forget that Tretinoin, apart from helping with acne, also has anti-aging effects, so I need to apply it on my neck. While I'm using Tretinoin, I sandwich it with another layer of the glazing fluid because it's very moisturizing and rich and I think it protects my skin. Look how very deeply moisturized my skin looks and a lip balm for sunscreen i have tried many expensive brands let me tell you i have tried biorf i have tried isentry i have tried la roche posay my favorite sunscreens are still the aquologica sunscreen it's lightweight it has no white cast it's not oily and does the job or the dot and tree sunscreens Favorite sunscreen? I'm not gonna apply it because it's a bit hot. And yeah, that's my skincare routine. When we had our visa in London, we had tickets booked and we had all vlogged. Yes. I should put it in. I don't know. Look at the old footage. I think after 30 days, I will do that. Like, I'll start putting those vlogs. Because when I was moving my house, I had also done the whole vlog. I'm going home, bitches! Today for dinner, um, I'm eating this recipe. I'll link it in the description. Uh, her name is Anushka Rawat. Uh, her IG handle is The Food Cravers. And uh, she's from Dehradun. And I started following her, and she was making authentic Pahadi food. And so good. And she reminded me of so many things we used to eat, and I, then I would get them made at home and uh, I, I tried this recipe she posted it's called dal bhorta it is so simple uh, and you just eat it with the rice i'll leave the recipe below you should try it it's basically like dal and rice it is so simple it's a comfort meal it is so good you have to try it and you have to follow her she's amazing brilliant it's dessert time so these are uh noto have you heard of noto they have these dessert bites 
so basically it's chocolate filled with uh, chocolate ice cream inside. 